Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Prison Architect, and you may notice that things are different. They're different because I did not save the game properly, and so we're missing $50,000 and we have a bunch more trees. But that's okay. Um, we can deal with it, maybe. So we're going to make a new prison! Yay! New prisons! And we're actually going to plan this out. So this episode is going to be mostly me pretending to plan a plan that I will follow, and then failing to follow that plan and continuing on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start out with is we're going to plan out our utilities room. So power and water. Um, I would like to look at utilities, please. So a power generator takes up that many. And we want at least one row around it and then water only takes up that so that's big enough for water and power so that's how we're gonna do water and power so there's our utilities room okay then over here we're gonna do offices um, now an office has to be how big? How big do, do our offices have to be? Um, it's a 4x4. Four four. So let's go back to planning. And that is the internal size of an office. So this is the external size of the office. So this is the size of a single office. Alright, so there's... Um, it's a 5x5? Five or six, six by six. Er, I am not an architect. I, I hope we all know that. So, like that. It's four by four, and that is four by four. Okay, so there we go. So here is our warden's office, our security guard office our um, lawyer's office and then we go up six and this is three more offices so this is our office building that'll be the door and we'll do doors like this and let's see how many staff need offices um, the foreman the chief, the warden, there's three, the accountant and the lawyer, there's five, and the psychologist is six. So that should be everybody that needs an office. Right there. So those are our offices. Okay. That works. And then right along here, we're going to do our holding cell, our initial holding cell. Or no, I should have visitation up here. Let's look at the size of the visitation room. See how, how thorough I'm being? I'm, I'm being good. I'm being a good person. <laughs> um, you know what? Storage should be in the front. I think. So we should have a storage room. A decent sized one. There's no room size requirement on it. But I think storage connected here like this. Um, a 9x9 nine nine storage room, the door there would work. Um, hmm. Yeah, that works. I mean, that, that's okay. And then we could have visitation right off the storage room. Or we could have this as the visitation room. What's visitation room have to be? I like visitation being close to the front door. But storage being close to the front door is good as well. So we might be battling that one. Um, visitation is... Right around... Uh, he, he, here? No, that's common room. Visitation. No size requirement. Oh. Well, 
then this will be either storage or visitation. Actually, you know what? That's going to be visitation. And storage is going to come off the butt end over here and be that big. And we'll have a door there. I like that. And then we'll have a holding cell here. Be a decent sized holding cell. And this will be future construction that we can space that we can use for like maybe workshops something like that and then we'll have um, a canteen and kitchen set up here so the kitchen will come off the back like this actually you know what the canteen will be like that and the kitchen will be like this so here's our canteen we're gonna have a big ass canteen this canteen's gonna service us for a while so we're gonna need a decent sized kitchen so we're gonna up that kitchen another row I like that we'll have a service door here this will have a door here this can probably go ahead and be enclosed in a hallway like so um, delivery entrance like that and then staff entrance and prisoner entrance and there we go actually like that that's better so they can just come out here and go in there okay and then canteen we need showers so we'll have uh, this will be the yard so we'll have showers we're gonna have a big showers um, it's it's going to be a bigger shower than we would normally have because of the size of um, the prison that we're going to make so we're gonna have like a big cell block and they're all going to use this shower and this canteen um, so this here is going to be a hallway and that's going to allow us to what um, cut some of the showers out like that and give us access to the canteen and this is shower access this is fine because they could just go through the canteen to get to the showers yeah this is the yard okay and this will be our first cell block how big are cells I should know this by now but I don't cells are two by three internal measurements so that's two by three that's the inside of a cell that's the outside of a cell. Yeah. So like that, then that, and that's a cell. So this is a big long line of cells, which means all of this has to be shifted. Up. Um, or down, actually. So if I want this to be a hallway, which I do, then this needs to either not be cells. This could be a common room. We'll make this the common area. And then we'll have our first cells coming off here. So it's a 2 by 3 So we could do that number. Cut the middle out. There we go. And then we can just have one long ass cell block all the way down there like this. We'll see how many cells we can get in there like this. It's two by three, so there's one. So two. Like this. Ah, uh, nope. There we go. I am bad at this. 
I think it's kind of obvious I don't know what I'm doing. And it's why I'm not an architect, because architects are good at this, and I am not. But I think this is going to be a cheap and quick way to get this started. And I can actually fit another cell in like that. I can actually go like... This is storage. That's power. This is going to be staff door. So I could technically put cells out here like that. And then this would just be um, part of the storage. Now there's a risk to putting them that close to storage which is um, they could get into storage. If we're gonna do it like this I really don't want to bring it that close. I could make this not storage and make this like a common room. No, I, I like it like that. I'm gonna keep it like this. We're gonna try it like that and see where we go. Um, we're gonna have to be really diligent about patrols in that area because prisoners are gonna wanna dig themselves out. So we'll probably wanna put um, a good number of of fence layers around here first. Like as soon as we're ready to start putting prisoners there we'll put fences in. And then we can just build another cell block straight off the back side of this. And we can build a cell block over here with other stuff. And classrooms down here and it'll be great. Okay, uh, let's see, what else do we need? Um, we need to know what our external fence is going to look like, which it's going to look like this. For now. Um, I don't know that it'll go out this wide at the onset, but I would like it to. Hmm, I don't like that it's touching there. So I may shift this room down so that there's a gap like this. Yeah, so visitation just got a little bit smaller, but I'm okay with visitation being a bit smaller. Um, you don't need a whole lot of room for that. Ooh, you know what? I need a receiving room as well. Um, where are we going to do prisoner intake? Huh. So that's the entrance. We're gonna have the road gates here. And fencing all the way across. Alright. I think what we do is we actually move this down. So we need a 16 by 13 block. Um, so we're gonna do visit uh, prisoner intake here. And then we need a 16 by 13 block to go like so this size. Alright, so prisoner intake can happen there. Um, we can bring it down like this. I want to try to keep the angles down. We'll have security in here as well, I think. But what did we say offices were? Offices, um, they are in rooms. It would help if I were in rooms first. Um, oh, I'll need a cleaning cupboard too. Uh, offices, I wasn't paying attention, I was reading all the other stuff. Offices, 4x4, four four. okay. So back to planning. One office is that size. This should be 4x4. Four four. It is. So that's an office. That is an office. Like that. 
Same in there. That is not correct. There's an office. And then another office. And another office. And then I have this little extra bit of hallway that we'll probably wind up getting rid of because it bothers me. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. Actually, no we're not. I like that because then I have a door. No, I don't like it. Go away! Then we have the door there. And then security... can... Um, okay, so we do want the hallway, and then security can, can have its offices right here. Like this, and we could have security and armory in there. Um, like, like that. Maybe. And then we have room to expand for like parole offices and stuff there. And then we have future wings of cells over here. Okay. I can dig it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build the fence. Now unfortunately we can't afford perimeter walls so we're going to go with regular fencing. And like I said, this first episode it's mostly just going to be me planning all this shit out. Trying not to repeat the mistakes of last time. Um, because the mistakes of last time were depressing. And expensive. And we are going to avoid depressing and expensive things. As best we can. Now I say as best we can because we all know that I'm probably not going to avoid those things. Um, could we, yeah, could we get rid of that, please? Uh, fencing has been purchased. Now road gates. Do I start out with the ability to have road gates? I do. Road gate there. Road gate there. And two guards. Okay, let's let that get built. Woohoo! Look at him go. And then we want a large jail door there. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be so good when it's done. You guys, it's going to be the best prison ever, and you're going to be so proud of me. I've got road gates. And my fences are being made. I can actually cut out all the planning stuff that's left over here. Because I got this right. Woo! Got it right. First try. Not making any money, but that's okay. Because we got it right on the first try. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then this. And then this. This is what happens when you can sell all of your old prison and <laughs> um, attempt to make money. Okay, so this is receiving for prisoners, so we're going to have it like that. And then we're going to have a staff door down here. And we're getting a whole bunch of trees which we can use for um, money, which is always good. Money is just always good. And then we want walls on the inside. So we're going to do a wall straight across here. Oh wait, we don't have the foundation done yet. Okay. We're getting there though. Oh boy, are we getting there. So I have a ton of money, so it'll be a while before we get prisoners in, because I'm going to try to get most of this built well before the prisoners get here, 
and just just hit the ground running as soon as they hit the ground prisoners ing I mean that's a that's a verb right I don't think it's a verb okay Did we finish Are we done Oh, good there we go so now we can do this and that this no oh that that was bad I need to have you demolish this wall um the auto light thing I forgot to turn off god damn it that's gonna be the worst so I've got to dismantle all these lights how do we turn off auto light ah there we go I don't want that light. I don't want that light. Oh no! No, they're, they're, they bulldozed the ground! Why... Why is taking out the light doing that? I'll have to go in and fix that. But with auto light turned off, we should be good. I should be able to just go in and put some foundation back in. Okay. So we're good, right? I think I broke it. Now I got this green on there automatically now. <laughs> oh no, they took the walls out. Oh, damn it. That's what it meant. I was like, well, we're going to take your walls down. But I don't want you to! Well, you, you said to do it! But I didn't mean to! Well, it doesn't really matter what you meant, that's what happened. Oh. So, like that, I think is how I had it. If not, I think it was the other way around, but that's fine. And then we need to put a uh, foundation down in... Um... Here. Good. Oh, we missed one. That's okay. We've got the money for these kinds of screw up. Okay, that's blocked. And everybody's indoors. Wonderful. Now let's go ahead and just label these as offices. And we're going to try to keep our plan intact. that and that and I don't think I have security unlocked yet so I can't make a security room or an armory oh I also need a dog kennel hmm we're gonna have to figure out how we're going to do that uh, dog kennel is going to be a bit of a challenge maybe I'll put the armory and, and kennel and stuff up there but it looks like we've got a good start. And we're going to wrap this episode a little short. Um, up a little soon. And it's going to be a little short. That's the best way to say it. It's actually kind of late. And I'm recording late in the day. And I have to um, get some other work done. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked the plan that I started out. If you have any tips or suggestions on how to better fit the prison into this mold throw them in the comment section below and of course if you enjoyed this click the like button and if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed click that subscribe button and youtube will let you know when to get fresh content out all that being said i'll see you awesome people next time uh okay we could run a women's prison and most valid individual on the planet he does his job nothing else people just call him the warden the lobbyist How's the likelihood of raising prisoners who are violent, lethal, volatile, deadly, or fighters? You know what? We're going to go with the lobbyists. <laughs>